What's up everybody, this is Mike. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, we are doing something very similar. If you have seen my latest video, you already know this location because this is where I recorded my Polar Pro uh, action mount test video, which unfortunately didn't turn out to be really good looking. It's beautiful. Not sure about the footage though. From what I can see, the Osmo Pocket is moving like crazy. But because you guys were so helpful and you gave me a lot of ideas in the comment section of the video, I decided to redo this whole test, but this time I decided to use a chest strap. The chest strap is going to work hopefully a lot better because it's going to absorb the vibrations. And I realized the action mount that I was using on the bike itself, on the handlebars, was not particularly good in terms of vibrations, in terms of stability. So I decided to go ahead and buy a chest strap so I can use with the Osmo Pocket and see how it's going to perform this time. So here we have the chest strap itself and I have purchased a J-hook that is going to be mounted directly on uh, the chest strap. That way the Osmo Pocket is going to stay uh, on my chest looking forward. Again, I'm using the action mount from Polar Pro to connect the J-hook with the accessory and right now I'm also using uh, the gimbal protector so I can just throw this in my bag and it's going to be protected at all times so that's something that I definitely find very very useful and I'll link all the uh, accessories that I'm uh, mentioning in this video in the description below if you want to check them out so this is the chest strap it's super easy to put it on The best thing is that you can easily adjust it so it fits your body. And now here we have the Osmo Pocket with the gimbal on, with the gimbal protector on, which I will remove. And now with this J hook, I need to mount it so it faces me, so the microphones can pick up the sound much better. And it's mounted, it's ready to go. So I can now just power it on. And we're good to go. All right, so now we are recording in 4K 30 frames per second. And I'm ready to get on my bike and start riding. The gimbal is set to record in FPV mode and I will change it to the other two modes uh, in a couple of minutes so we're starting with FPV and let me just quickly adjust this so you can easily see the road ahead of me and it's time to begin I think it's facing down too much so I'll just quickly adjust it I definitely think it's a lot smoother now much better than the previous handlebar accessory but it's up to you guys to decide We are now recording in follow gimbal mode. And let me just stop for a second so I can adjust it a bit. Right, let's continue. We are now recording in tilt locked gimbal mode, 4K 30 frames per second once again. And I have to be extremely careful here because there are so many rocks on this road. I don't want to 
jump and fall down. There we go. To be completely fair, from watching the tiny screen on the Osmo Pocket, it seems like the footage is very smooth. Hopefully, it looks the same when I transfer it to my computer. So just like last time, we're going to test it out with some riding on the smooth surface like this one. And I'm currently adjusting it so you can see the road. So what do you guys think? I definitely like it a lot better. There are definitely not that many vibrations. Other than the strong wind, I think the footage is going to be really, really good. So after using the chest strap with the J-hook and the Osmo Pocket mounted on top of it with the Polar Pro action mount accessory, I have to say uh, I've reviewed the footage very quickly and it looks so much better than the handlebar accessory that I tested a couple of days ago. I have to say I'm really happy with this accessory and I'll be using it in the future if I decide that I want to use my Osmo Pocket when I'm riding my bike. One thing that I can definitely see is a huge improvement over the handlebar accessory that I tested a couple of days ago is the fact that this thing is mounted to your body which means that the vibrations that you usually feel when you are riding your bike on a dirt road for example are not going to be as severe with this accessory so you definitely don't see them as much uh, in the footage itself so that's something that I really like one thing that I don't really like about this accessory is the fact that uh, it's going to hurt a lot if you fall from your bike and in case you fall uh, front you're going to probably break your Osmo Pocket and it's going to um, to stab you in your body but uh, that's a risk that of course you have to take if you want to use your Osmo Pocket as an action camera but other than that it's uh, really convenient really easy to uh, to use with this J hook that I mentioned you can uh, easily adjust it so it uh, uh, it captures the right angle and you can of course also swipe up or down on the screen itself to adjust the camera manually so that's something that I did a couple of times uh, when I recorded today and uh, if you want to remove it, all you have to do is pinch on the bottom and it's off. So this is uh, the J-hook uh, that I mentioned. It's super easy to remove. There you go. And that's the Osmo Pocket with the action mount accessory. Um, from Polar Pro. Once again, I'll be linking everything that I mentioned in this video in the description below. So if you're interested, check it out and buy it for yourself. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this follow-up video. Uh, and once again, I want to thank you for your input on my last video, for your suggestions, and for making me redo this test because now I am more informed and I just wanted to spread the word for this accessory because I really think it works much better than the previous one that I tested. So thank you once again for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe and turn on your post notifications if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!